Hey everyone, long time no see. I know it's been a while, but I'm back with a look at a few more record stores. This time I'm outside of Tokyo in Omiya, right by Omiya Station, as you could see. It's a nice kind of like a suburb type area that has some good stores in it and a statue of a chipmunk. I don't know what that is, but that's a good landmark. You see that thing, you walk past it, and eventually you'll end up over here by a nice tiny little disc union. Now, this disc union is very small, and it was incredibly crowded when I was there, so I couldn't go into a lot of detail with my shots, and you're going to see a lot of, like, kind of close-up pictures of CDs and stuff. It really couldn't be avoided. Shogunai, as they say in Japan, which means, you know, shit happens. But I th it's a great store. I love this store. It's just full of CDs, as you can tell. A lot of rock and pop. Some good stuff here. And around the back wall there, or side wall, I mean, nothing but J-pop, a whole wall of J-pop. I have bought a lot of YMO here back when I was still looking for YMO. I have all the YMO I could ever want now. Over here, there is more rock, and as you can see, very crowded, so again, a lot of close-up shots. And then again, in the back, some more rock, and you got your prog over there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to avoid too much prog today. I'll, 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 I'll not make no promises. Good Soul and Blues selection, a lot of prints, some Grace Jones, some Stevie Wonder, all kinds of good stuff over here, and then world music, and then your Japanese punk rock, which is, um, it's unique, I'll, I'll just say that. And some other stuff here, here's some game and anime music, not a lot of super interesting things here, but you know, Lupin remix album, some animes I've honestly never heard of, an Ace Combat 2 CD set. Some kid stuff, a big cock. <laughs> that was not in the anime section, but I, I like big cock. Um, um, anyway, moving on. Here's some metal. Racer X. Uh, this is a little little snippet here of some odd metal. And as you can see, pretty pricey, you know, 5,000 yen for that one. You know, some odd stuff up here. But here's the back. The back half is all the records, which is, I know is what you're probably interested in seeing. Good selection of J-pop there. Here's the new stuff. Good you know, mix of Japanese and foreign music. And then on the back, some 45s. Here's an odd one, a Mario single. That's the Super Mario Brothers single. I, I, I own that. I did a video on that. That's a great record. And then the back wall here is all the used stuff. All kinds of genres here. Mixed really well, well, well sorted as, you know, almost every disc unit in the planet is. Hey, Madonna. Uh, I I have all that Madonna. What else do we got around here other than Madonna? Bye, Madonna. Some, you know, various alternative music, some Bjork. Let's look over here, see this, some random. Here's a sale. Let's see what we got in the sale bins. You know, good good prices on these. Some really expensive, as you can tell. Some cheap. You know, I, not, I don't know all this stuff, and I know I'm going pretty fast. But again, it was super busy that day, so I couldn't really take a deep dive in this stuff. But if anything in here interests you, you can hit that freeze frame button. You can look at the prices. You can look it up yourself. I, I'm, you know, I am only one man. Uh, ooh, Kylie. Ooh, Tears of Fears. Good stuff here. Uh, but I didn't want to buy too much, so let's move on. Here's some punk. I don't know much about this stuff, but I thought I'd give it a, a quick look at before I turn around and look at the prog section. I'm sorry. You know I like prog rock? Hey, do you know I have a podcast about prog rock? It's called Alexander's Ragtime Band. It's hosted by me occasionally and sometimes by Jeremy Parrish of Retronauts, and we're joined by Elliot Long, who's a music musician and lifelong prog fan we do episodes about you know yes elp rush king crimson we just did an episode about some lesser known bands babe ruth england and affinity so hey if you like prog rock maybe you should check out that podcast anyway <laughs> let's move on to some other stuff i like the store a lot but again it's very small very cramped down the street is a very strange store this is more records now it's called More Records. There are no records here, only CDs, but it is a great store. The only thing I don't like about it is this staircase. Yowza. But if you can brave that hike, you'll find yourself in a nice, quaint little space. It's kind of hard to describe. I would say it's kind of like, I don't know, late 90s, early 2000s Pitchfork meets NPR's Tiny Desk Concert meets your favorite music blog from 2008 that's no longer updated, I guess. I don't know. There's some weird stuff here, and I'm going to be honest. 95% of the artists here, I have no idea who they are. And if it was up to me, I would just let this video play with the ambient sound in the store so you can get a good idea of it. But I can't do that because it's copyrighted music, 
and YouTube sucks, and I would get a DMCA takedown, and I already have enough of those. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to keep talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you can see here, you know, got the Radiohead poster in the back and the Godspeed You Black Emperor section. I think that's pretty indicative of the type of music they have here. And if you're into that stuff, you'll probably dig it. I do love the genre names, Feel, Smoke, and Groove. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, the groove didn't look like, you know, funk. I don't know what smoke is because in Japan, it sure as hell isn't marijuana. And, you know, all music makes me feel stuff, so... I don't know, but it's kind of funny. I've bought some good stuff here in the past. I bought some Artiture, some uh, Calm Trues, some really bizarre, like, African Electro from, like, the late 90s. Just all kinds of weird stuff. The back wall here has stuff that's a bit more mainstream. You can see they got the newest uh, Church's record, some other albums I recognize, Calm Trues again. You got your My Bloody Valentine up there. Japan loves My Bloody Valentine. Those reissues are freaking everywhere. Square Pusher, Old Bibio, a lot of Warp records here, too. That's another good sign of if, if you like that, then you'll probably like this store, um, Signifier. Again, the My Bloody Valentine reissues, I bought all of those. Those are all great. You should just buy those. But yeah, it's a nice little place. Like I said, it's quaint, it's chill, the staff is super nice, and you know, good vibes overall. There is some more in Omiya. Once you leave this place, you can find this building here. It's down the street. There's a big book off in it, which has this terrifying tree. Hi, tree. Oh, no. Okay, then. This is a book off. It's a huge book off, but it's kind of just a book off. You know, a lot of used stuff here, used CDs, used movies, used everything. Again, now it looks empty here, but trust me, this place was super crowded. This is the only shot I had with almost no people in it. So again, I couldn't go through and look at everything. But there's nothing like super unique at these. They're just good for quantity. So if you're looking for a lot of cheap CDs, both foreign and domestic, yo, if you're in the area, worth checking out. Also worth checking out a few stations away, this really nice museum. So it's the Saitama Modern Art Museum. It's in Kita Umeda Station. Great place. I went there and then across the street, a giant disc union. This might be the biggest disc union in the greater Tokyo Saitama area. It is an absolutely fantastic store. I know I say, hey, it's one of my favorites, but this one really is one of my favorites. So let's take a look inside. As you can see, this place is flipping huge. I would say about two thirds of it is CDs and then the back third is records. But it's still a lot of records, trust me, we'll get there. But first, here's the CDs. You got a whole back wall of hard and heavy stuff. Good stuff there. This keeps going. Like, I, I can't believe how big this store is and almost all of this is used. It's almost all used CDs and used records. It's like heaven. Oh, it's such a nice place and so well organized. Again, like every disc union, everything's impeccably organized and easy to find no matter what. Going on to the records, you got a small techno and house section. These are all white labels, so there's really no point in showing them off. I just wanted to let you know that they do exist. And then moving on past that, there's even more records. Down around the corner here, you got your jazz. And my obligatory, I don't know anything about jazz or R&B, so I'm going to just keep on walking and I apologize. Good hip-hop selection, though, and I haven't really shown off a lot of hip-hop at stores, so let's just go through here. Got some EPMD, Eric B, a lot of EPMD, Eminem, you know, good variety of stuff going back from the 80s into the present day. Ooh, Danny Automator, 2K7 Instrumentals. That... That checks off my Danny Automator box and my video game soundtrack box. So I bought that. De La Soul. I already got those. Love De La Soul. Like I see, good variety here. Uh, that Delta album sucked. That was a bummer. Anyway, good variety of new and old 80s, 90s, 2000s, you name it. I was really impressed with what they had here. Even more over here. These are bands I don't know. So I'm just going to skim through there really quick and you can take a look and let me know if it's interesting. Maybe leave a comment and tell me if I missed something cool. Next to the hip-hop, they had the reggae, and I know even less about reggae than I do about jazz or r and I'm I'm from Ohio. What can I tell you? So I'll just kind of 
skim through this first one here and you can tell me, man, if any of these are worthwhile. Again, I'm sorry. I I do think it's important to show this off, though, so you know it's there. It's a good store for this, I think, except for the back UB40. Oh, no, no UB40. Please, no UB40. Some 12-inch singles. I, that's really my wheelhouse. I could spend all day in there. Some Donna Summer, uh, Freedom. Good, good, good stuff there. Going around some more. More Soul and Funk. We got Prince and the Prince Family. Unfortunately, they do not have the Family album. The Family is Prince's side project. That's where the song Nothing Compares to You really came from. They didn't have that. But a lot of good Prince. I have, I have, I think, all of these records. <laughs> I have a lot of Prince. So I don't have this. That's a stupid ass bootleg. I don't buy bootleg vinyl, especially when you can buy those mixes now on most CDs. Alphabet Street, you see that a lot. Good, good prints. Not a lot, but you know, good stuff. A lot of good Japanese stuff too. Nothing too spectacular in this little section here. There is the Kenji Amura album. That yellow one is going to pop up. That one. That one's great. But behind there, you had a Maria Takauchi's Variety for fourteen thousand yen. That's graded B. I've seen it go for much more than that. City pop people are crazy. City pop people should buy Togoa June's albums. That's Togoa June's album. That album's rad. Everything Togoa June's ever done is rad. You should buy her stuff too. Down in the corner here, we got YMO and assorted YMO solo artists. I, I, I don't know why I looked here because I'm going to be real. I own every single YMO album. I own every single YMO single, every single EP, every single remix. And I own almost everything by everyone in YMO. But I'm still compelled to look because, hey, you just never know. But, again, I had literally everything here. So, moving on to another section. Madonna, again, I don't know why I looked there. I have all of that. Some alternative stuff on the wall. A little bit of everything over here. You got more Japanese rock on this side. You got Western stuff on this side. 80s to 2000s, as you can see. Kind of overpacked in some areas, which was kind of a bummer. Kind of hard to look through. Rare for a disc union. But, I mean, they have too much records. What are you going to do? Then some prog. Ooh. I could spend more time here, couldn't I? I could look at more prog. You know how much... I, you know, have I told you about my podcast? About progressive... Okay, never mind. Okay, you know what? No, stop, stop. I'm going to... Not today. Not today. I'll move on. I'll move on. Let's go look at something else. Let's go look at 80s music. That's People like that more than Prague. David Bowie. People like Bowie. I like Bowie. Another t artist where that, like, I don't know why I'm looking at this because I own all of these except bootlegs like that. Don't buy vinyl bootlegs. Don't buy vinyl bootlegs. You can find the songs online for free and they'll sound better than on vinyl. Like that Nine Inch Nails concert. You do not need that on vinyl. Just download the same MP3 as I downloaded in the 90s. That's a rare one. That is the Japanese Red Black Star 12-inch single that was only available at a museum exhibition in Japan. It's like 8,000 yen. I got two of those. You know, just saying. Once more through the CDs, mostly just because I wanted to look through the CDs some more. Like, you know, yes, every disc union has a good used CD selection, obviously. But this one, again, it's just so big. It's so massive. They have so much stuff that... I always want to do deep dives in here because you never know what you'll find. Like, you know, Sparks. You don't see Sparks a lot, even in Japan. I mean, they're more popular here, but you don't get used albums, I think, because everyone kept them. Here's Queen. Have you noticed Japan likes Queen? So these are all reissues, of course, from, you know, and they're separated pretty well. But you got, like, those super high material CDs that are only available in Japan. If you want, like, Night of the Opera or whatever in that format, you can come here and get them. I've never been a big... A SHM CD Believer, but they are right there, so there you go. A lot of, like, unique ones up here. They got In Rainbows, that this weird limited edition of Monster, Rolling Stone box set, a Rush box set. Woo, Rush! Didn't buy that. Uh, awesome Santana, like, Deluxe Edition. I think that's an SA CD, so that's pretty rad. You, you know, you find those in Japan quite a bit. I bet you don't see those in American stores. <laughs> I didn't buy for your 11. Moving on. Lou Reed. Like all kinds of cool box sets. UFO. I think I I already own that. That's a good box set too. So yeah, good box sets. One of the things I do when I go to disc is sometimes I won't even, I mean, I'll eventually browse the racks, but I'll look what's on top. I'll look at the box sets, the oversized things that don't fit because sometimes you can find some some really cool, weird, and hard to find stuff there like these Weird Beatles box sets. I, I don't even know what this silver one is. Not that expensive. 4,000. Six CDs. 
I don't know when what era that was. Here's some tiny singles. I love tiny CDs. Uh, I, I imagine those are reproductions of the original singles on just on CD. Nothing special about it. Here's one of those uh, like late 80s reissues. That's so all the Beatles EPs. Those used to go for quite a bit. I think the new remasters kind of damaged that price. Same with the the anthology. Now that's only 1800 although that's pretty bad condition. Here's a great one. The Traveling Wilburys. The Beatles are good. The Traveling Wilburys are awesome. I love them. I own this box set. Get me some more Traveling Wilburys, but not today. Want a monkey? Anyway, that's about it for today. You know, just going to go through one more time really quick. Show you some stuff here. I got some J-Punk. Just, you know, and like I said, I don't know how many more c CDs I can show you to really show that this place is rad. They have everything. If you ever come here on vacation or if you live in Japan, make the trip to look for some good CDs. That CD is great. That is like a collection of old techno pop from the mid 80s. It's like an eight volume series. I have all of them. Also great back up here is Space Circus by Fantastic Arrival. That's a great album. Here's another oddity, BEF. That's like a weird British comp with Tina Turner and a Taka Khan. Some good stuff on that. I almost bought that, but I had a lot today already, so I, I passed it. And then a lot of Jeff Beck. I met somebody once who said they claimed to date Japan's Jeff Beck. I still don't know what that means. How do you become Japan's Jeff Beck? I don't know. Here's the who. But here's what I bought today. We got GMO's Christmas Songs. That is a compilation of Christmas chiptune music. I don't know, but I own it on vinyl and CD now because I have impulse control problems. And again, I bought this great Daniel Automator album. Listen to that. That has some great beats. Really recommend that one. And I also picked up this Hawkwind CD over here that unfortunately... It wasn't very good, but they can't all be bangers. But that's going to do it for today. You know, click those like and subscribe buttons, and you can find me on Twitter at Lost Turntable and my Progressive Rock podcast, Alex and Right Time Band, and my movie podcast, Cinema Oblivion. I'll have links to all that and the stores in the description. I'll see you next time. Take care.